Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Andrew Campbell with Holtec Gaming. Last time we just exited the tutorial level for Dark Siders 1. Now we're going to pick up the Master Sword. I mean, uh, whatever they just called this. Hell Slayer or whatever the hell. Uh, pretty cool Chaos Eater. There you go. The Master Sword Chaos Eater. Uh, War's Legendary Blade. Also strapped... S yeah, stripped of its former strength and power. Pretty awesome sword. And you get Blade Geyser. Ooh, this is another interesting thing that uh, the Legend of Zelda did not have. So, select Wrath Power, consumable item, map. There we go. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and uh, assign this, shall we? Bam, assign. Cool. So that looks like... Are they going to let me do it, I wonder? The souls oh. of the dead will be your currency. The souls of the dead Some will be your currency. Some enemies are more easily bought than killed. Cool. Can I do it here? No, it's not going to let me. Oh well. We'll, we'll. we'll play with it out in the world. Uh, I'm sure we're going to have to run into some zombies here pretty soon. Uh oh. We got some spookums. That's a lot of dead people. Okay, currency, health, wrath. Cool. Doesn't even tell you. That was it. That's just. A <laughs> okay, we'll go find Bulgrim. So hey, welcome back. Like I said, very excited to be here. Demons mount desert. Uh oh, war doesn't like demons. That's not PC, bro. Fallen from the destroyer's favor. Bulgrim is one such outcast. He has long sought an audience with us. How long have I been here? That's a good question. How long has he been here? Because, you know, the last time, it was almost instantaneous, we were in a whole world that had just been come under attack from angels and demons, and now look at it. Desolate. All the humans are now dead. There's still crap falling from the sky. Go figure. Oh, that crap was you. Was a little <laughs> That's off. funny, dude. Not so fast, horseman. Let's lay down a few ground rules. Until this is over, you're a dog on a leash. Such a good voice bark, actor. You bark, and if I have to kick you, you'd better not bear your teeth. Understand? Or should I teach you to play dead? Good boy. So I will say that, uh, and yeah, you guys are going to freak out. I have never played Final Fantasy VII, right? I've never gotten to enjoy the, uh, the, the, what is it, Cloud Strife is his name? The Final Fantasy character with the absolutely gigantic sword. Yeah. Uh, I hear it's an amazing game. I have not had the time or pleasure to do that, and I don't know if you guys are actually going to be down, especially since the remake just came out. Uh, we'll see. I don't know. I mean, if y'all want to see me play Final Fantasy VII, so be it. Let me know and I'll oblige. But we'll see. There, there's a lot more platforming in this game compared to the Ocarina of Time 2, which I really enjoyed. Uh-oh, Zambos! This is what happened to all the people. <laughs> they kind of take on the exact same form of the... the the soldiers, I guess the they're called in Constantine, even though the soldiers are missing their eyes, you know, but still, the point that they're missing the tops of their heads is still there, which is Why an interesting comparison. Yourself? Again, I encourage you wholeheartedly to watch Constantine with the... Uh, what is his name again? Oh, man. I can't believe I'm forgetting his name. 
Well, I said it last time with confidence, but you can't really play it, right? So, cool thing about this. For these. Oh, there's too much. There we go. So, for these Zambos. You don't have to necessarily fight them with your sword. They're weak enough to where you can just crush their faces. You can grab them just like any other destroyable thing in the in the overworld of this game, which is helpful for sure. Because swinging your sword at enemies sometimes isn't always the fastest way to get rid of them. And trust me, the squashing these zombies are actually quite uh, enjoyable for me. There we go. And they're dead. Now, yes, I am going to need to go ahead and invest a little bit of time in, uh, this guy's just going to explode, isn't he? That's right, that's right. Scared me a little over bit, here. but over here. Okay, sure. So you have to, what's this? Now they teach you. So I, I, good thing I already remembered. That's good. Born is, uh, it's, it's quicker just to make zombie pate instead of actually investing time to kill them. There we go. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I went over and I checked um, if the audio sounded okay. And it did. I mean, it, it didn't. It wasn't perfect by any means, but it uh, it sounded okay. The game audio, y'all are getting a nice representation. The game audio, combat doesn't sound too terrible. Commentary not as loud as it normally is. I think it's a good balance. Uh, I I definitely did spend a little bit extra time making sure. There we go. He exploded. Uh making sure that I did not have the same folly as a link of the past. And uh, I think if that ever happens again, I'm just going to outright uh, delete those episodes. I'm not going to put them on YouTube because that kind of it kind of shows uh, a little level of not give a shit. And y'all ain't, y'all ain't, uh, I could, uh, there are, what, two, there are two bad episodes up now and I guess there's only one more. I don't know. That's the bad part about it. I just wish I would have been a little bit more diligent about it. But it's been weeks now since that happened. So, hello from the future, I heard. From the past, I guess. If y'all are caring to know the exact date, it's the 15th of June, 2020. Hey, yeah, that's how you open a chest. You punch it in the face. Because it has a face to be punched. How interesting. Okay, what's this? Dragging objects. You do that in The Legend of Zelda, don't you? There we go, squeeze. There's this one really famous corn song. This is, I think it's called Twist. Uh, my little brother loves the shit out of it. It's a pretty fun song. And it's corn, so you know it's good. I do like how they added you could go right or left as you're also pushing forward. That kind of helps in my opinion. Hop on up there, War. Let's get this done. There we go. There we go. Outstanding. Squish. Squish. <laughs> Double jump. Squish. Can you imagine? you figure he'd be slinging them so hard. If, they're, if he's like squishing them that violently to a figure instead of them just exploding like that their leg would rip off or something it's video game logic still and yeah it's not that important to really bring up but it's a it's a fair point in my opinion so what were we doing we were looking for a dude named Volgrim. that's right i think i remember what he looks like too no legs sells you stuff we'll see we'll get there I'm excited. Whoa, there we go. I'm excited if y'all are. Uh oh. Scadios. We got a bit of a fight on our hands. I see what they did. They put a bunch of destroyable fodder in the level so you can't really just go through and squish these zombies. Ah, well. I'm making a good run of it, I think. 
Hey, you swing your sword a couple times and then squish. The nuanced gameplay methods of the sophisticated Darksiders player, right? I like it too, the cutscene HUD has it to where they'll give you those. Uh oh! I'm gonna have to actually pay attention to this guy, huh? Alright, uh, yeah. Oh, it's telling me how to cycle through him. Uh oh. That's a little. That's not that's a good buddy. There we go. What do you think you know what you're doing? What you doing? Whoop! I guess I think I know what I'm doing, but I don't. How do I do that thing again? Uh, there it is. Well, I missed that. Alright. <laughs> Now's not a good time to experiment with the buttons, I don't think. Right? Yeah, there's something. Oh, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. Okay. <laughs> There you go. Get him! We got him! Oh, man. How crap. <laughs> Outstanding. We didn't get all our health back, but we got a little bit. Can we proceed now? Thank you. You know that one game designer who put that uh, piano in there is like, man, I hated it how my parents made me go do piano lessons when I was younger. And now they made a destructible piano. Absolutely. I get you, rando game designer dude. I get you. Which was the way? Was this the way? Was this the way? Yes, it was the way. I don't know why we chose to go into a collapsing building. I mean, is Volgriff even in this building? That's the question. If that's even his name. Here we go, more squishable zombies. I'm gonna miss these guys. <laughs> Whenever we get into the harder stuff. I, I, that's right, I did. I put it on normal, didn't I? So we're, we're going to have a little bit of a chore getting through this, but it'll be fun. It'll be a nice test of my abilities. Hey, a punch in the chest. Hell yeah. Give me your lunch money. <laughs> it healed me because I'm about to have to do something, probably. The Crossroads. Look at that. I don't think that building was there. How long was I gone? In Earth years? About a century. A hundred long years. for the last of the mouth breathers to die off. Then, the Third Kingdom is lost. Cool jump, man. Might as well be Mario at this point. This game's so awesome. So cinematic. It's got great sound effects. What's happening? Sato. Oh, that's right. Volgrim. I almost didn't hear you coming. Volgrim. The council finally took me seriously. If so, you're surely not empty-handed. This shall be the briefest of introductions. <laughs> yeah, we're just paying them off. Mm. There were a few young ones. Spectacular. You seek the power behind the one called Destroyer. You will find the answers and the font of his power there. Oh, such haste to die. 
You aren't even a shadow of your former self. You wouldn't last a heartbeat. Besides, the way to the tower is shrouded by demon magics. Even I do not know the way. Who does? Feed my hunger. And I'll feed your curiosity. Hell yeah, love it. Collect 500 souls. We do not have that many. So we're going to be doing a little bit more squishies. I do not have a problem with that. A demon trinket that reveals the locations of nearby chests. So that's essentially a compass in The Legend of Zelda, right? Either way. So the cool thing about this, as I don't know if I've mentioned this yet or not, but uh, you can a lot of environmental things that you can destroy, such as this small economic sedan, you can uh, destroy it and get money out of it. Or souls, I should say. It's kind of a weird commentary, you know, essentially saying in the in the lore of this game that hey, uh, inanimate objects have souls as well, or that people's souls can be attached to uh, physical objects, right? Kind of a weird precedent to set, but it is what it is, right? It's an interesting thing, for sure. I don't know if this is actually going to do it. But if it is, I'll take free damage. Whoop! Well, not free damage on his behalf. We'll just, we'll just have to play it safe. Take the easy wax. Don't get too tactical. I'm going to have to get used to the combat system again at some point. But it's a lot of fun. There we go. Stabby. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh yeah! Uh, I can't, I don't know why I didn't say it in the first episode. So I came up with this thing. We're going to be doing the R.I.P. edition. This is the Andrew Campbell and Holtec Gaming's R.I.P. edition of Darksiders 1. Yeah, so that was the, the little intro thing that I came up with. I'm surprised I didn't say it the first episode, but yeah, well you saw it on the thumbnail. So this is the RIP editions. RIP as in we're going to rip a lot of demons and angels apart. And then, you know, R.I.P. because a lot of people are dead. I guess that's the the most tactful way I can put that. Still, I thought it was clever. And if you don't, sorry. I'll try to think of something better for whatever game I pick next. But we're doing okay. That lady's dead. Well, they're all technically dead, aren't they? Oh, I can climb here. Cool, I'm glad I saw that. As gross as this is. But another really awesome thing that I really enjoy about this game. I need to make sure you get this guy. There we go. Um, it's a collect-a-thon. Well, I have said that, haven't I? Still, I really do like that, that you have to do some exploring, right? It, it's a lot of fun in these games, for sure. And uh, the fact that you can go around and explore and get souls and get power-ups for your health, etc., etc., I think it's very to see right down there. Case in point. My dudes, swimming. Press B to descend, A to ascend, and dash to dash. Cool. So this is the case in point. A artifact soldier. These ancient insignias were given to the legions of hell as trophies for the carnage of the end days. Return it to Volgrim and he will reward you. So yeah. Uh, I don't remember if they're specifically like pieces of heart. Uh, or if they're just ways to get more souls, I'm not entirely sure. But I do think we need to at least spend a little bit of time, do a little bit of exploring. The better we do exploring and getting all the little small uh, items, I think, the better the experience will be. Plus, we won't die as easy. That's definitely a big goal of mine. I don't want to. I don't want to die as easy whenever I play this game. The more health, the better, in my opinion. The wetter the better. Right, guys and gals? Okay, so we, we essentially took care of this side. There's a blue thing up there, which, oh, I, that's, uh, I can't deal with that just yet. Uh, there are a couple of other items, I think. It's been so damn long. But it's too late to apologize. <laughs> it's too late. Oh, man. 
I don't, did y'all like how music centric uh, Ocarina of Time was? It is just down there. It's awesome. I'm glad I thought of it. But yeah, like, actually, leave me a comment if you can, telling me if you like the musical references. I've always been kind of a musically minded person. Doesn't mean that it's good music or that y'all are going to enjoy it. But uh, I definitely do like whenever I have it. Whenever music comes up in conversation, I enjoy it. At least for the novelty's sake. Uh, we have, we need 20 more. I think we can go to this side and handle that pretty good. Can we, nope, that's blocked. Squish. I should have named this play through the squishy editions is what I should have did. But I'm having fun. Are you not entertained? That's a question I should ask you guys. Uh, it's going to be real hard to top Ocarina of Time, man. I, I absolutely know that. I mean, I was at my best commentary-wise, for sure. I knew exactly what to do. Zero wandering around that didn't need to be done. Ooh, look at this guy. We're going to be killing a thousand of these guys. Blocking. We're going to learn about blocking. Ooh. Okay. Lock with our hand, that's weird. Hey, he doesn't have any legs anymore. <laughs> that poor guy. Ah, eh, well. He shouldn't have, shouldn't have ran at me with whatever spiky thing he had. There we go. These zombies are getting ballsy, huh? Bring, yeah, so we got enough souls. But I'm not done exploring. We got, we got some stuff to do. Because you do souls to feed Vulcan. Okay, thank you, guy. I don't need your I don't need your two cents right now, thank you. But thank you. I'd rather explore a little bit. There's a few other things to be had and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do it. There we go. There we go. How many more? Okay, a couple more. A couple of dead Zambos at the same time. Of course. Oh, okay. So here's the real reason. I just remembered. So essentially, after we get to the next waypoint, let's go ahead and kill this guy. And we'll talk, well, yeah. We'll talk to Bulgram next episode. The point is, though, we need to do this. At least I would like to. Oh, we're getting a phone call. <laughs> I guess we're going to go ahead and end the episode. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Andrew Campbell.